For some reason, I always enjoy unboxings. I give a little unboxing ASMR. <laughs> Yo, what is going on everyone? My name is Drew What It Do, and in today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing, reviewing, and talking about the newest New Balance 990 V3 from, <clears throat> from Adsum. I mean, Kith. <laughs> anyway, if you enjoyed today's video, even if it was that interesting intro, give this video a like. Let's get into the review. The unboxing experience for these made in USA New Balances are very simple. You get the pair of shoes, and in this pair, you actually get an extra two sets of laces, which is really, really nice. The upper of this 990 V3 is comprised of mesh, leather, and 3M hits all throughout. You have 990 on the heel of the sneaker. You have Made in USA denotations all throughout the sneaker. This is just a really clean New Balance 990 V3. Some of my favorite details of this sneaker include the cream midsole, the toe box design, and the overall shape of the sneaker. This shoe isn't going to wow 99% of people. It's a very subdued and subtle New Balance sneaker that for those who know about the 990 V3 and respect its history, will appreciate. To my eyes, the way I would describe the color of this sneaker is a combination of black and navy. Suede here is a more black color, while here it's a much more kind of blue color. The liner is blue as well, and it kind of just goes in and out of being black and blue all throughout the entire shoe. Some of the last noteworthy features of the shoe include the insole design and the outsole. These are the first New Balance 990 V3s that I've ever owned. Compared to the 990 V4, they are very, very similar. In fact, let me go get my pair real quick. So here are the 990 V4s on this side, and then obviously these are the V3s. You can tell that there are a lot of similarities between the two, a lot of differences as well. Slight changes, minor changes in the toe box as well. There's some slight changes. And then at the heel, they have some slight changes. So to me, honestly, I like the V4 and I've put a lot of miles into my V4. Before we get to sizing and on feet, there's a couple of major points that I wanna make sure you guys know. When I first got these shoes, I was kind of under impressed i wasn't really blown out of the water like like i said most people aren't going to be blown out of the water when it comes to these shoes and for these ones i was excited about them i pulled the trigger on them obviously fairly quickly because i thought that they i thought that they were going to be a kith collaborated new balance sneaker but in reality they're just a gr sneaker through kith and they give you extra set of laces but there's no kith denotations or markings or anything like that and they kind of made it seem like there was going to be even though you know you saw the product images but they just didn't have any kith uh symbols or iconography or anything like that also i made a little bit of a nod to add some in the beginning of this video because add some had a pair of new balance 990 v3s that look very very similar to these back in 2018 and it seems like if this is just going to be a GR pair of Kith New Balance 990 V3s. Uh, they kind of took the idea from Adsum, if you ask me. I mean, either they took the idea or they knew about the Adsum pair and basically work with Adsum to help recreate it. I don't know, because both of those brands are, are in New York, but these and Adsum's pair are really, really similar. When it comes to sizing for Made in USA New Balances, Typically, you want to go half a size down for a more snug fit. If you go true to size, I've seen that some people just have way too much room going going true to size. I went true to size, so that tells you a little bit of something. It's not crazy. Like I, I enjoy the true to size fit of a New Balance Made in USA sneaker, but for some people, they're not going to enjoy that. So you know, your mileage may vary. But just to be safe, my recommendation probably leans more on the go down half a size in a pair of New Balance 990 V3s made in USA because they do run a little bit long in the length, if that makes sense. I am keeping them dead stock for right now while I have them on feet. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep these or not, man. I do like them. The more I look at them, I like them more. But at the same time, is it a shoe that I'm gonna wear a ton? I like the New Balance gray look, man. That's just so classic to me. Any type of gray New Balances look good. This one has a lot of different kind of features to it that I think are interesting. The fact that it's a V3, the fact that it has a cream midsole, and it just is a cool, interesting sneaker that I feel like won't re-release unless add some, does another version of them in 2022 or something like that, right? I think if anything, these look best with a pair of the cream laces on. I've seen that done a few times. It really makes the sneaker pop. So maybe I'll try that and see how it looks and maybe consider keeping it at that point. From a comfort standpoint, these are some of my favorite sneakers to own. The end cap technology on the New Balance 990 is really, really nice. Compared to you know what I'm wearing right now at my 990 V4s, these are really, really good as well. They'll break in over time. They'll kind of adhere to your foot like a lot of shoes do. 
you can't go wrong with the new balance when it comes to comfort what are your thoughts on this shoe what did you think about the review my name is drew what it do <laughs> but anyways uh, this was a nice little inner rim video i have a lot of really fun content coming up for you guys i have new drops for edward joiner for this hoodie right here these are actually going to start going into production pretty soon so i'm really excited about creating a version of this hoodie that i'm wearing right now for you guys and i just was in uh, california i was just in sf doing a little bit of work there so we have uh, some trucker hats coming out that i'm super excited about that i'm going to be showcasing today uh, Sunday, Father's Day, June 20th on Instagram. Other than that, man, um, I'm getting back into the flow of things. So if you guys are new to the channel, um, I spent a lot of my time last week kind of just relaxing. So, but we're about to ramp it up right here. So subscribe to the channel if you want to be part of the community. I would love to have you be a part of the community. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2021. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you. Wherever you are in the world, have a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you next time. Man, this content is about to be crazy coming up. Super excited. Now, what do I do with you guys right here? That's the question.